Hey guys, welcome back. I am making stovetop popcorn this evening, a uh, single serving. So all you'll need is a bowl of whatever kind of size or style you like, about one fourth of a cup of your kernels, a small pot that I'm using. It's already dirty because I've made popcorn earlier this afternoon. Um, your desired type of oil. I like to use this extra virgin olive oil just because it has a more of a hotter um, heat so I could have it on a higher heat and I won't do anything wrong. And then I like to just season my popcorn with this nutritional yeast we got at our local like co-op. And it's like a herb and garlic flavor. So to start off, you'll just put your like stove on medium. And how I kind of like measure is about two, maybe three capfuls worth of pop like oil into your pot. And as soon as it starts to crackle, then you know it's kind of ready. So to start off, you'll just put your oil into the pot, let it heat up to about a medium, and then pour your kernels in, and right away, like, swirl it around like this, and then also shake up and down and then let it do its own magic and have your um, bowl or whatever you're using ready right away and then all your toppings right at hand. I made a larger size earlier this afternoon so I'm just making just a little bit more because why not? So let it do its magic as soon as it starts to go crazy. Do mix constantly. This is like an old fashioned way of making popcorn. And as soon as it's like starting to pop, I guess you could say, then you could turn off the heat and then constantly like mix it because it will still have heat in from when the lid is closed. I usually add like, like season it with like salt and pepper prior to putting it on the heat, but I just wanted to make a plain style this evening. So let it get all heated up. Turn on, turn up the heat a little bit more to like a seven now. And wait until it's done magic. You'll notice when it's starting to pop is your lid will be covered in steam and then it will just kind of keep the heat in and kind of go to town. So we got one pop so far. Just have to kind of be patient. This is kind of like the painstaking part of making popcorn in the old fashioned way, I guess. But I find that this type of style popcorn is more flavorful and more inviting and more welcoming to have with your friends and family because your little people could help you, your friends could participate, you guys could put flavors into the pot to make it flavored. And I just find it's more funner this way to make it. So as soon as it starts to go crazy, do take it off the heat and shake it a couple of times. We got maybe seven kernels so far happening. So this is kind of where you're starting to be more consistent with your shaking and your mixing because the heat will start to kind of go crazy. It's 
just about done. Now it's going crazy. I find if you make popcorn in a smaller pot, it does take a much faster to do so than in the, like a larger pot. But you guys could do as big as pot or as small as pot as you guys like. And it all varies on how much popcorn you would like. For myself, I do like to make a large amount of popcorn. And because then I can leave it for like the next day or I can put it in like a big Safeway bag or like a bread bag and take it on the go anywhere I go, right? So it all depends on your size of popcorn that you would like to make. But for this small pot it is just one fourth of a cup of kernels to three capfuls of oil. So now we're kind of all at the top, if you guys could kind of see, not necessarily, but I'll show you after. Now this is kind of where you have to constantly have the shaking. It's just about done. I kind of wait until it's like three to four seconds. And if there's no popping, then you know you're finished. It's pretty like self-explanatory. And then you know you're finished when it's totally like silence. But for this case, we're not silenced quite yet. Just a little bit longer. Again, continue mixing. Just about done. Just about, I could already like, cause I've been making popcorn for like ever in a day. I kind of already know when it's done. So that's kind of like another trick is when your lid is covered on the pot and then it clears up. So we're almost done. You guys could kind of tell. Almost done, but not fully. Okay, we're done. So then turn off your heat, of course. Take off your lid. Shaky shake. And then just place your lid somewhere, per se, to like cool. On the counter is fine. So this is your guys' popcorn. Very, very simple. There's no burns. Super easy. Throw that into your desired dish. And that is it. See you guys, perfect amount for like a single serving. And then of course your seasoning is all up to your choice. So I'll just add a little bit of oil, tiny little bit, a couple of drips. And again, just shaky shake. Oh, it's steamed. And then some seasoning salt. <clears throat> and then your nutritional yeast or whatever type of seasonings. I just kind of eyeball it. Kind of like so. Then step back and go to town. Mixing it and that is it guys and I'll show you guys the larger product See I kind of then I add it to my larger size and that is your guys's
famous popcorn. That says a large amount. So this was about a cup, cup and a half of kernels. How I just showed you guys the exact technique. I just did it in a larger pot. But that is how you guys make my mm, famous popcorn. Guys, oh my god. Mmm, such a good hit. That's gonna go for like days. But what you guys could do with like the leftover, or not the leftover, but like the seasonings, I guess, is like add it to your popcorn dish. And then it could be perfectly, because we don't like to waste the seasoning. So just add it to your popcorn and then slowly kind of like mix it so I kind of go like towards myself so I kind of go like okay we're not throwing it around the house but then shimmy it and then Again, another shimmy, and you guys, hmm, can't go wrong. Like, that is amazing. Maybe a little bit more salt. And then again, just toss it, like a light toss. That is how you guys could impress your family, your friends, or hmm, you're just yourself. That is amazing. Okay, guys, I'm going to get into eating my popcorn. Hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Stay tuned. Please comment, subscribe, and like this video. I want to try to get around 100 likes if possible. So... Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great night.